Hello friends, the Network Berg here, and today I'll be teaching you how to configure a NAT rule on a MikroTik router. Before we jump into the configuration, what is a NAT rule? A NAT rule is basically an IP translation where we are able to mask an IP address behind another one. You also get something similar called a PAT or a port address translation where we can change a port from one port address to a different port address. You will see this a lot with traffic going to the internet, or perhaps we have users that's connecting to a web server and we will NAT that traffic internally into a DMZ. Um, but that is the, the gist of what NAT is. I will post a link in the description to my blog below, giving more insight into what NAT is and why we need it. But uh, for this, video we're just going to focus on configuring that on MikroTik. It is actually very easy to do the configuration. I've already set up a topology here uh, with a MikroTik router, a Cisco switch, and a computer that we're going to use for this uh, lab. Uh, we've already got the internet working. So if we log on to the MikroTik, we will get onto the console window. And if I do a ping from here, I will already have internet access. I'm just quickly going to go into the LAN PC. I'm going to assign this LAN PC just an IP address um, that's on the network. So I said I'm going to make this 172.17.0.2 for the PC. The gateway will be dot one. And let's just give it DNS servers so we can resolve some host names. I'm going to jump back on the MikroTik because I don't believe I've assigned an IP address for Ether2 yet. So we're just quickly going to do that. IP address add address 172.17.0.1 slash 24 on Ether2. That's what I said on the topology. Great. So if we jump back onto the computer, we should be able to ping the router. 172.17.0.1. Okay, so in theory, we've got a default gateway. We know the router has internet connectivity, but if we do a ping to 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 which is Google DNS server, we're not getting a response. Reason being is there's no NAT configured, so the internet doesn't know how to get back to our private IP address. So let's quickly go ahead and configure a NAT rule on the router. I'm going to use Winbox, but I'm going to show you how to do this on the command line as well. So configuring this from Winbox is relatively easy. This is the default app for MikroTik. That is a management IP address that I've assigned from my actual computer on GNS3. I've left the login credentials the default, so it's just admin and blank. Great, so I've winboxed into my router. So now this works like a real MikroTik router. I can quickly assign a NAT rule by going to the IP, firewall, NAT. This tab, NAT. We can click on the plus. Now this brings up a box where we can define the rules of this NAT. We're going to use this as a source NAT because we're going to NAT traffic coming from a specific source. Uh, and we're going to say, well, let's not even define the source. What I tend to do is if I know I'm going to NAT traffic out of a specific interface, I'm just going to say anything going out of a specific interface. So I know the traffic is going to go to the internet. So that will be on my ether one, which is my internet port in our topology. Let's just go back there and confirm. Ether1 goes to the internet. I can apply this, but the natural won't do anything yet. Because if I go to my actions, it's actually kind of just done a firewall rule. It's not really doing anything. So to apply NAT, a very basic source-based NAT, let's just use the masquerade and let's just apply that. So what masquerading does is it will take the IP address of Ethernet 1 for any traffic going out so that the internet will see the IP address of Ethernet 1 instead of our private IP. And then we will have successful communications to the internet. Let's just quickly have a look at the NAT rule. It is here now. And we can see there's already traffic passing through it. 
let's go back to our machine. Let's do another ping to Google. Now we're getting a response. So we have internet connectivity from our LAN computer using a NAT rule that we configured on the Microtech. Let us delete this rule quickly. And we're going to create it on the command line because a lot of people I know enjoy command line as well. Let's uh, get in here. So to add a NAT rule from the command line, it's actually quite easier. It's quicker for me to do it this way. So what we will do is we will just type IP firewall NAT. Remember like uh, the options it, it was, we went to IP and then there was a firewall that we went to and we went to NAT. Same type of structure. This is just doing it from the command line now. So we are going to add, so that's clicking on that plus button and we're going to do a chain. The chain is important because this is, is it a source based NAT? Is it a destination based NAT? What, what is this? So this is a source NAT. So SRC NAT. We're going to define the out interface. If you recall, we specified traffic going out of Ethernet one. That's what we wanted to NAT things as. So let's just say out dash interface equals ether one. And now we can define the rule. So this is where we say action. What was the action? Well, we masqueraded the traffic so that it appears to be the IP address of ether one. So let's just type in mask. There we go. You can tab on Mikrotik. It does auto complete similar to Cisco. This is the NAT rule. Once I applied, before I applied, let's just go back because remember I deleted that NAT rule. It's failing. I'm going to add it. Working. So we just added a NAT rule from the command line as well and we've got internet breakout. This is very good and we will be able to do a lot of practical labs using this type of topology in the future as well. Uh, let's just quickly look at the internet as well. Great, we've got Google connectivity as well. So everything is working. You've successfully added a natural on a Mikrotik router. I hope you've learned something new and I hope this has been informative. I'd like to thank you for watching and I do encourage you to do visit the Network blog, which I will post the description of or a link in the description below so that you can also follow these labs yourself. There's a section dedicated to GNS3 so that you can do this yourself as well. And you will learn a lot from doing that. Again, thank you for watching. The Network out.